Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? I don't know if I've read for you before, so I'd like to just explain real quick. I see, hear, feel, sense, know. They talk to me, but they also show me pictures, and I call it spiritual charades. I try to describe the picture the best I can to get their message across. They never waste a message. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say. So if you don't, if it doesn't make any sense now, you'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. Go, ah, I know what she's talking about. So um, this is not an exact science. We communicate the best way we can. So sometimes you got to stretch it outside the box a little bit. They don't give me all the details because the details are none of my business. They'll give me just enough to where hopefully you'll understand what they're talking, what she's talking about. Um, it's their ball game. It's their show. So uh, let's see what. Yeah, what <laughs> she's saying it again. She was saying something as she walked forward a minute ago. Um, she's saying bippity boppity do. Okay, I'm not sure how that would fit with you, but she's saying bippity boppity boo. That would connect with you at all, but my main guide is my Bob, who's always on my left when I do my readings, unless he's over in his corner. Yeah. Anyway, he's always here, and that's kind of my saying for him, so I'm not sure how that fits. She's, oh, she had this... Uh, has and had this very sweet, sweet feeling inside this um, kind of a loving energy that just kind of seeps out of her and everybody can feel it. Just loving, caring, generous to a fault. Just an awesome awesome energy that she put forth to others around her and people can feel that energy and you know if okay all right um she wants me to explain like like one time i went into walmart and i went in like grrr, i was grouchy and angry and everybody that I, and i for some reason i caught it and everybody that i walked by would look at the floor look away you know almost kind of go way around me i'm like wow that's kind of kind of bad so I kind of went out the door changed my attitude changed my energy came back in smile on my face my vibration higher and everybody looked at me spoke said hi to me uh, complimented me on my hair or my shirt or something I mean it was a totally different attitude within a couple of minutes so she's wanting me to explain that to you for some reason so she wants you to think about that because she she had that energy that it's kind of like we turn our light on. She wants you to turn your light on. She had her light on and then people were drawn to her like a like a moth to a flame because of that sweet loving energy. She was respected. I don't know why she's wanting me to talk about what she was. But what we were, we still are. Whatever that energy is that we had here we take that with us except the heavy dark energy and she wanted me to explain this too for some reason anything uh heavy that we get here on earth they kind of peel us like an onion and they uh, peel all that heavy negative energy off of us where it raises our vibration and we're light and bright and there is no more anger or resentment or any of those negative energies it's all about love. We take that energy with us. Hers doesn't feel any different than it was here. It was she's still got that exuding. I have a friend and she exudes love. You can almost see it glowing around her. Okay, she all right, she's showing me herself with Grandpa, similar to the picture that you sent. <coughs> Excuse me. But he's 
he's moving back. He said, this is, this is for her this time. He might step forward and say something in a minute. We'll see. It's totally up to them. But he wanted me to know that he is there. He wants you to know. that They are together. And some kind of a little <laughs> smaller, when I say smaller, you can't see my table, smaller, smaller, somewhere in here, fuzzy dog, kind of like poodle hair, but it doesn't look like a poodle, maybe like a, I don't know, I can't even think of the kind of dog, kind of like poodle hair, but it's not a poodle, or it could be half poodle, uh, one of those, and it's light colored, looks white. And it's got a long tail, doesn't have the cropped off tail, and it's running around like crazy with them. So whoever had this dog, if it was their dog, your dog, um, they want somebody to know that their fur baby is safe with them and they have it. If it's any smoke, it's my coffee and my, and my sage. <laughs> my house isn't on fire. All right, she's showing playing checkers. So either you play checkers with her a lot, or you've recently played checkers or bought a checkers game or something. Well, you don't see the, anybody play that anymore. We've got all our electronic games that are more fun. So know that if you see that game, you hear the word checkers, you see somebody playing it on TV, you walk through Walmart and your head's kind of turning, and you see checkers. That's a sign from her. Validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her, ask her to bring you more signs if you want them. That's totally up to you, your free will choice. Okay, she, she's singing the song, the stars at night are big and bright Boom, 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 deep in the heart of Texas. You don't want me to sing, I promise. So she's... I have no clue where you guys live. I don't know if you guys have something to do with Texas or there's something in the song. So go Google the song. Let me see if I can tell who sang that. That's an oldie, I think. Well, that song was sang by Gene Autry, so that's a really old one. I thought that was kind of old, so I don't know if that'd be back in her era, or maybe that's something she listened to with her mother. Um, not sure where that song comes in at, or something to do with Texas. So you might go Google the song, see if there might be some words in there for you. Anyway, um, she's holding a single red rose. That's in full bloom. I don't know if you've given her some of these, recently gave her one, um, recently laid one down somewhere in memory of her, like in front of a picture, but she has it. She's got it with her. Maybe you gave her one at the funeral, just one. But she's holding just one. It could be more, but she's uh, she's holding one single red rose. She says she appreciates your loving thoughts, the love that you send to her. I promise you a thousand percent she can hear you, she can see you. Does she come in? Um, hang on, I'm asking her a question. Her energy is so soft. Um, even if she showed up in your house, I'm not sure you would feel her. She's just really soft and gentle.
She's showing me grandpa comes into your house and there's some aroma of smoke. So when you smell that smoke, and usually it'd be just like a little whiff. And you can smell it. Just waiting to see if he's going to say something. And you can smell it anywhere. You can be in the store, in your car, in your house. doesn't matter. But he's showing like sitting in a recliner. And this looks like an older recliner. Um, it's got one of those old pole lamps beside it. has a little shade on it. Oh, crap. I don't have anything like that around me. Um, pole lamp beside his chair. And there's something about the aroma of smoke around him. I don't know if this is something in your house or this is where he used to sit that he's showing. It's charades. <laughs> I hated that game when I was a kid. <laughs> so he's he's letting you know that he's he shows his presence more than she does, I think. She's a little bit worried about scaring somebody. I can't quite hear what she's saying. Hang on. You'll get some soft. It's it's not even like lilacs or. Hang on. I can't tell what it is. I'm trying to get her to tell me. It's like a very soft essence of some kind of perfume. It's. It's not overbearing, it's not strong, it's not um, it's not fruity, it's not flowery, it's just some really light, airy type of perfume or cologne something around her and you'll smell that too and you can be anywhere. So make sure you validate them, acknowledge them, tell them you love them, and ask them to bring you more if that's what you want. She says she hasn't exactly been reaching out to you. She has been checking in on you. She does pop in and check in on you. She is trying to bring you some kind of reassurance about something. Some kind of peace and reassurance about something. It'll be okay. But there's something about your dreams. Something about your dreams. I don't know if you've dreamt ever. And I know, well, I think it was last week, like, two or three nights in a row, and I don't know if there's a retrograde going on or what the heck's going on, where I was having clear, and I never, ever dream, never, ever dream. So if you're having this, I think a lot of people are having this just the last few days. Just total videos of, actually, but it was people that are still here for me. It was total videos of people that are still here, and I'm going, it's weird. Especially when I don't dream and long and drawn out, not like split second like dreams usually seem to be. So know if you're having any type of a dream about her. Hang on, she has been trying to sing you a lullaby as you just when you drift off to sleep, you, you know, when you get just almost where you're out, and you're in that la-la land, some kind of a lullaby that she used to sing to you. And now she's singing lullaby and good night. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean to sing? But that may not be it. That may not be the exact song. I think she's just doing, she's probably just doing that so um, 
understand that it's a lullaby. You'll be hearing that. And it'll, it'll be really soft. It'll be, it'll be almost in a dream, but you're not quite in a dream. And if it hasn't happened, it's going to happen. And it's going to almost sound like angels singing. And it will give you a great, great sense of peace and love and calm. And that's the whole purpose of it. She says she's just wanting you to know that she can hear you. She does feel your love. doesn't really feel like she needs to reach out to you. It's not that she wants something, it's that she's trying to give something. You'd be amazed at what they can do. So what was grandma good at here? If you want to reach out to grandma, what was grandma good at here? What was Was she good at fixing problems? Was she just a good listener? And I'm hearing she was a great listener. It, use her ear. Use her ear. Talk to her. And like I said, I'll say it again. I promise you a thousand percent she can hear you. What was she good at here? What? Okay, she says listener. We already, sorry. Anyway. And just talk to her. Somebody to... Somebody to just talk to that's not going to not going to rat out your problems. <laughs> it's not going to rat out what you say. Who's she going to tell? And ask her for help. Ask her for help with whatever it is. Ask her in a calm, loving way to help with it. And uh, you'd be surprised at what doors they can open. Or all of a sudden somebody will call and it'll have something to do with helping with that problem. Or... Let's just say it's a job, and all of a sudden somebody calls you with a job offer. It, what's it for? She's showing me, like I said, a double doors. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. I'll get my mouth behind my hands. <laughs> She's showing me, like, a set of double doors, and they're open about this far. Not quite all the way. And that means something's about ready to open up. No zitching. Something's about ready to open up, but it's not quite ready to fully open. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this means. <laughs> They're open. And then one flies open and the other one stays here. So <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means because... I don't know what you look like, but I can get through one of them doors. I don't need them both open. One's going to fly open, so part of it's part of it's going to come before the rest of it comes, I guess. And then she says, it's your choice whether you want to walk through that door. We have free will choice. They cannot override our free will. Choice. My guides are always up there going, Rhonda, what are you doing? We told you not to do that. We've given you all this good shit, and why are you doing that? So, you cannot override your free will choice. It's your choice whether you want to walk through this door. And I, she's not telling me what it is concerning, what it's connected to. She says, You'll know. And, uh, but ask them for help. Ask her for help with whatever she was good at here. But then you have to be, you have to allow it to happen. You have to allow it to progress. You have to step through the door, whatever it is. And it's, I always tell everybody, if Uncle Joe didn't have a pot to piss in, don't ask Uncle Joe for help with finances, that type of thing.
Yeah, I don't know why she said it this way, but she says, the hair on your head is beautiful. She said hair. I didn't hear the S on it, but hair on your head is beautiful. I don't know why she would say it that way. I'll throw out whatever she says. I love you very deeply. I feel your love for me. Love is an energy. Energy cannot die. Energy changes form. Energy changes shape. Energy does not die. And they can still feel that energy. Okay, now she's, it's like she's up above you and she's dropping a rope. She says she is your lifeline. She's your lifeline, so call on her. She's being very soft and gentle about it. She's wanting you to, to call on her and start climbing up that rope raise your vibration to she's being very vague though and I cannot put I will not make anything fit that they don't she's got to say it they don't always tell you what you want to hear they tell you what you need to hear He says, do you want to be happy? Do you truly want to be happy? You need to look further ahead. You need to look further ahead. You need to look higher up. You're kind of walking around in a daze, like the old humdrum, everyday, same old shit type of thing. You know, just, this is just is what it is and you know she says you're not looking ahead you're not putting your energy ahead you're not putting your energy out there up there and, and now she's making me feel all excited like if you do that, you're going to start getting excited. You're inside. You're going to start feeling that energy moving. You're going to start feeling that energy pumping. You're going to get excited because there's something new and bright through that door. Through that, she's not telling me what the door is. <coughs> but you've got to look further out there, past the door. You've got to look through that door. If that makes sense. Let's see, okay, I have a card. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. All right, sometimes they refer me to my cards. This is the door to personal healing and happiness, but this this is exactly what the door looks like. That's that's exactly what the door looks like that she just showed me, and it kept. But that's not the card I was thinking of. Only it's only it's turned out instead of turned in, which probably doesn't make a damn bit of difference. But she wants you to look through that door at that rainbow, that dove, the beauty. On the other side of that door, she wants you to visualize and start moving towards that door that's opening. But you have to imagine the beautiful stuff on the other side of that door. But this is the one I did, I kept thinking of was the garden and the gate. And if you look, look at her neck. You get blurry. She has a key around her neck. She holds the key to that gate, to open that gate, and look at all the beautiful stuff on the other side. And she has the key to open that gate and walk through it. And that's that's the card that kept, for some reason, kept popping in my head. And I don't know why she's making a big deal of it, but uh, Trying to ask her for a little more validation. I like to have them at least validate just a little bit that for so you know for sure that it's them. I just don't like to spend my whole reading doing it. Okay, she's showing me a young girl, and she and she actually looks a little bit similar to this girl, only her hair is lighter, her hair is more full, 
but she has kind of long, wavy hair, about, I would say, similar to that age. And whoever this little girl is, she's got like this bright glow about her face. Very, very, I have no clue if you have children. I don't, I don't creep anybody's Facebook page or anything. She's, she's got this glow about her, so I don't, I don't know exactly what this is, but it's, it's, uh, it's very nice. It's very good. I don't know, it feels like it's very important. She's not exactly showing me if this girl is here or there. It's almost like her face is lit up by the sun. So there's something special about this child. Grandma says, you know she's been there. She just hasn't been there a lot. She's kind of waiting back in the wings, like waiting for you to ask for her. Waiting for you to call on her. Once again, she's showing me like you in the everyday rut, like we all do the dishes and the laundry and the scurrying around like crazy. And it's time for you to switch that up, change it a little bit. She says, make a change, make a change. And, and it doesn't have to be a big change. It could be you normally do something at eight o'clock, do it at ten o'clock. Um, just it, some kind of some kind of a change to the to the rut, to the boring normal. She wanted me to grab my tourmaline. It's a little chunk of tourmaline that my medium friend gave me. Um, grab it and hold it. I consider tourmaline a need for um, protection. I'm not exactly sure. Look, Google. Google tourmaline. Um, what the reasons are for tourmaline and just go find your little chunk of it. You can order it online, doesn't matter. And actually, when I get crystals, I pick. Let's, well, this one was given to me, but when I pick crystals, I pick the imperfect ones because they're imperfect just like I am. I pick the ones that nobody else will want because they have a crack in them or that's just me. But um, for some reason, she wanted me to grab my tourmaline. Not that I feel like I need any protection. Not that I feel like you need any protection. Just it wouldn't hurt. My medium my best friend, my medium friend, gave this to me and told me that I need this during my readings. There's no bad energy here. None. None from her, none from your grandpa, none from you. Don't feel any warnings. And I can't remember what all the stones mean, what their purpose is. Anyway, go grab you some. Go grab your little chunk of, they don't cost much. And it doesn't have to be a great well. I've got a big one. <laughs> it don't have to be big. Anyway, grandma's all full of info. She's just not full of validations. Now she feels like that you'll understand that it's her. She's a an awesome guide for you. But she's not really been a guide yet, but you can ask her to be. And you don't have to talk to her out loud. You can talk to her telepathically. 
I've talked to a real life person telepathically. He wants to leave you with all the love, sunshine, spirit, connection. Sincerity, love again, love for yourself, love for all beings, don't pick sides, love them all. No matter how much they anger you, send them love. I don't know who she's talking about in particular. She's just talking about the general world. It's okay. She's referring to like when I put my protection bubble around me. When some people are being bad, you know, you can do the mirror ones and it bounces. When they shoot their hate at you, it bounces it back at them. No, they've got enough hate already. Send them love. No matter how much you hate them, no matter how mean they are to you. In them the love energy. You don't have to talk to them. For some reason, she's wanting you. I don't know if she's talking about somebody in particular. At least send them love and peace because they need it because they're so dark and heavy inside that you need to send them love and peace. Just don't let their daggers get to you or their hate. Yes, she says, like me, I had to, I have to turn the TV off. Wow. Stuff going on out there is like, wow. I just got to turn the TV off sometimes. So she's kind of saying the same thing towards you. So maybe it's about what's going on in the world. I don't know what she's saying for sure. She's all about love. Very loving person. Okay, she's not going to give me any more validation, so hopefully, hopefully you understand. All right, she's leaving, so she's going to wait and see if you take these next steps, and she'll be there. And you'll know in some way, some, you know, some little sign will come towards you, or somebody else say her, a name like hers, or there'll be there'll be little clues, little teeny tiny, really clues that you could miss if you weren't paying attention. So just be aware of them. <laughs> she's showing this door again. And she's on the other side of the door. And there's like a beautiful garden out there and beautiful sun, birds, all this beautiful stuff on the other side of the door. And she's got a carrot on a string and she's dangling it, dangling it, you know, like, like you used to uh, coax a, which I don't want to say an old mule, but that's what they used to do back in the day. Dangle a carrot out in front of its head to get the stubborn mule to go. So she's out there dangling a carrot like, like a tree wanting you to, maybe you love carrots. <laughs> she's not calling you a mule, sorry. But, she, but she's out there dangling this carrot like a tree to get you to go through this. So you'll know in your gut what it is. It's not for me to know. Okay, she's leaving. She's blowing you kisses. She says she'll be waiting for your next steps. She'll be there to guide you. So call on her. I said, you don't have to do it out loud. Much love to you. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. See you later.